हेलो एवरीवन लॉन्ग टाइम होप एवरीवन वन डूइंग गुड सो आई एम बैक अगेन विद फ्यू टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम ग्रफोलॉजी एंड टुडेज टॉपिक्स आर रियली इंटरेस्टिंग इफ एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू नोट इट डाउन यू कैन सिट विद पेन एंड पेपर एंड नोट डाउन द डिटेल्स सो द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इन ग्रफोलॉजी टुडे इज अबाउट लूप्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट डू यू मीन बाई लूप्स लूप्स आर यू नो जनरली मे यू मेक सर्टन लूप्स इन एल्फोबेट्स एंड यू मेक एन एल पैटर्न सॉर्ट ऑफ अ लूप सो आई बी टर्निंग द कैमरा टूवर्ड्स दी पेज सो दैट यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड बेटर सो योर इट इज सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट लूप्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अपर लूप्स फर्स्ट सो दीज आर कॉल्ड अपर लूप्स द एल पैटर्नस so it's really important to have these l patterns in your alphabets or the alphabets that are going up like alphabets b like d l etc so why because this the loops in your alphabets increases your uh, talent of creativity it encourages good imagination you are able to accept new ideas you are able to be more versatile and you have more of an intellectual capacity usually a lot of people retrace the alphabets we do not recommend that but we need to have upper loops however loop also has a different meaning again going back to the page so when you have these alphabets at times lot of people make unrequired loops in the alphabets like suppose if i'm writing s it goes like this b is this these are unwanted loops so if you have unwanted loops in alphabets it leads to a lot of complications so your make sure your alphabets are very neat very tidy and very systematic don't try to design them and create loops in that so repeating again it's very good to have upper loops but bad to have loops in the alphabets which is not required moving on to the next topic is strokes now what are strokes uh, basically when you make strokes on the paper you leaving the pen on the paper you are without finishing the line you are actually lifting your pen i'll show you how it goes so if you're writing an alphabet t it goes like that so basically you're lifting your pen from the paper before finishing the bar these how you should write is this you should not lift your pen this way so now there are two kinds of strokes in graphology one is strokes in the upper zones and one is strokes in the lower zones so when we talk about strokes in the upper zones now getting back to alphabet t so this is the um ideal t that you need to write and this is the t with the upper stroke upper club stroke basically so when you have club strokes in the upper zone that means that this person will have a lot of verbal like ag aggression this person will be very harsh verbally he is able to hurt others through his verbal words and uh, he is going to be very sarcastic however uh, when you have strokes in the lower zones now suppose if i write a y or a g a y is supposed to be written this way but lot of people leave it like that so these are called strokes in the lower zones so when people have strokes in the lower zones that means that these people will be very harsh physically very uh, aggressive physically basically they are they will be able to harm themselves and will be able to harm others physically so uh, in one way they are really really dangerous and uh, they will incur a lot of health issues so in a way graphology is a very simple way of course to learn it has a lot of uh, study but it's a very simple way how through the handwriting you get to know about such intricate matters and also work on it so um, why not just give it a try and uh, move along with it the third and the last topic uh, is the claw which is again very very interesting listen to me carefully now what are claws in graphology i'll show it to you on the page so any alphabet so this formation 
ओके और दिस इंटेंसिफाइड फॉर्मेशन इन ग्रफोलॉजी इज कॉल्ड अ क्लॉ नाउ एनी अल्फाबेट दैट यू आर राइटिंग विद दिस फॉर्मेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल अल्फाबेट डी फॉर डॉग लॉट ऑफ पीपल राइट लाइक दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एफ फॉर फिश लॉट ऑफ पीपल राइट लाइक दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल टी फॉर टाइगर अ कैपिटल टी लॉट ऑफ पीपल राइट लाइक दैट सो वॉट डू दीज मीन सो लेट्स कम अप टू क्लॉ फर्स्ट वॉट आर क्लॉज वॉट डू क्लॉज मीन सो एनी वन हैविंग क्लॉज इन देर हैंड राइटिंग मीन्स दीज पीपल आर वेरी स्वीट टू टॉक टू दे बी वेरी स्वीट टू टॉक इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू बट दे आर बैक स्टैबर्स they will they are very dangerous behind you they'll always harm you they'll take advantage of you but they'll be very sweet in front of you so to deal with such people and to have relation with such people to have presence of such people in your life will be extremely difficult uh, especially when you are someone who's very honest and loyal will uh, be cheated so let's talk about few of the alphabets um, so every alphabet will have different clause we'll talk about uh, two to three of them and then i'll explain you how it works so let's start with alphabet d like i explained you the d clause supposed to be like this so the alphabet d stands for your physical self anyone having a claw in the d means this person uh, will harass someone in the life or has gotten harassed in his or her life maybe during his childhood or sometime in the life so anyone having a d claw um, maybe you know he or she feels that he was not hurt during his childhood and he was hit physically or not treated well during his childhood he was being harassed by his parents and he was not hurt so that's why this person has built up a trait of harassing people later in his life also it's very easy for such people to get into bad habits like alcohol smoking drugs etc uh, and they might um, uh, end up harming themselves or others so anyone you know just anyone if you see someone's uh, you know if you see someone's if also um, women women having uh, claws in d alphabet d they have a lot of irritation and they are very harsh with their children so it's very easy for us if 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 a mother has a d claw in the handwriting it's very easy for us to just say that you know why are you harsh to your children because i'm sure lot of mothers will hesitate to say that they are not harsh to their children or they are very irritated with the children but it's we who get through get to know through the handwriting that yes this is the person this is the mother this is the lady who is acting harsh to the child reason being might be that lady was being harassed uh, previously in her life or she seen someone like that moving to the next alphabet i think all the ladies will be really interested in this alphabet so that's alphabet f f for fish so like i mentioned mentioning again f sorry it goes like that so this is a claw so anyone having an f claw now this depends on the intensity too this is of a very high intensity so anyone having an f claw in their handwriting especially males if they have f claw in their handwriting they are definite to cheat any lady figure in their life it may be the mother the sister the wife or any other lady figure and uh, if a husband has it in the uh, handwriting sample then he is definite to cheat his wife so um, uh, i'm sorry all the husbands and all the males but i think all the ladies will be really excited to check their husbands f today or tonight or whenever so go ahead with it but um, you know do not just judge with writing one f you have to see the majority on the page and that's how you depict what the character of the person is so especially um, people with this f are very sweet talkers uh, they'll show you that they love you a lot and they'll do a lot of things for you they respect you they care for you in front of you but behind your back there's something else so uh, again these people are really dangerous and they get cheated and also cheat the females the last one is the alphabet t that i would tell you about so this is basically a capital t okay a lot of people write their t's like this again there's a claw here 
so any any capital letters in graphology means being authoritative or being in that leadership leadership position so um, imagine someone having a t like this basically he is going to, he or she is going to cheat the authoritative person in his life he is going to cheat all the authorities all the person who is on top of him however if this person gets who has this claw has a lot of authority and is the leader maybe of some project or some company imagine what will happen to the employees or to the company how much he how much the company is being cheated how much the employees are being cheated so claw is all about getting to know in what aspect and in to, in what field uh, someone is cheating the other person so uh, that's about it for today i hope it was an interesting session for you if you have any doubts i'm sure you'll have a lot of doubts concerning uh, a lot of alphabets you can dm me you can message me you can connect with me on facebook and instagram um, and uh, i'll surely get back to you with all the answers um, till then take care all the best and bye uh, you can also post if you want to know about any more topics so this was a request from one of the client i hope you've gotten all your answers thank you and bye thank you for listening to me bye and take care